It's snowing outside. Jared surprised me. My doctor wants me to get it checked out. Having to lie to my dad. We got our new bedspread. He just loves the snow. And I had some goodies in there. I was crying. I was laughing so hard. Getting closer to the baby shower hall. Our Christmas cards. Hers is gonna look so cute in this. Gosh, you're going crazy. We got get him, get him. We got our new bedspread. If you watched my last vlog, I talked about ordering it, and I love it. It's so freaking comfortable. And we also also got new sheets. I ordered some 100% organic cotton sheets off of Amazon for Black Friday. They were like 30 bucks, so not too bad. This comforter, it's a beige color, but Jared says it looks pink in here for some reason, which at first I kind of agreed with him. Sometimes I kind of agree with him. Sometimes I see pink, sometimes I see beige, but I think it looks pretty cute. And making a bed is not aesthetic with pregnancy pillows, just saying, but they will not be there much longer. So crazy. video ever. about to get ready for my 30 week appointment which is so crazy also i just got this shirt a few weeks ago and it already like shows my stomach <sighs> but i am doing my makeup because i have a busy day ahead it's currently 902 i knew i should have got up at six o'clock when i was just laying in bed but i didn't end up getting up until like 7 40. i wasn't even gonna vlog today but i haven't vlogged the last two days and i've been like wanting to vlog it's so weird when i'm not vlogging i'm like i wish i was vlogging and then when i am vlogging i'm like i just can't wait to stop vlogging i'm not like that most of the time it's just the last few weeks have been a lot with trying to get stuff done for the nursery and stuff and just feeling overwhelmed and stuff a lot of the time but i love vlogging don't get me wrong but sometimes you just gotta take a break and then when i try to take a break i'm like oh my god i can't wait to vlog but anyway i have an appointment this morning at 10 20 and then i have to come back here and make a dessert to take to my parents for thanksgiving i'm leaving today i don't know exactly what time we're having a surprise 50th birthday party for my dad tonight <sighs> so out of breath at six so i have to leave probably by like two maybe jared is home but he is not gonna go he's been sick the last two days so that's a bummer he and Granger have been sleeping in the other room because I don't want to get sick. I didn't ask him to like do that, but he just like sleeps over there so that I don't get sick, which is nice. But it's unfortunate that he is sick 
for Thanksgiving because that's obviously no fun. And this is his like big holiday off this year. He has Thanksgiving off and he has to work Christmas. So it just sucks that he's sick, you know? But I'll be home tomorrow. So he won't be alone, alone. He'll only be like alone for half the day tomorrow. I can't talk and do this. I'm running out of breath. But I haven't even packed. I don't have to pack a lot because I'm literally gonna be gone. 24 hours maybe. <laughs> so I'm on my way to my appointment and it is getting so confusing having to lie to my dad. He texted me and asked like if we we're actually coming today or if we're coming tomorrow and I have to like confirm everything I say to my stepmom before I say anything back to him and I just I'm surprised you know things are so fun but they're just like stressful you know I can't really tell my dad that Jared's not coming anymore or my stepmom because I don't want her to like slip up because she's already slipped up once and like had to cover herself but I can't say that he's not coming anymore because the whole reason why I said we're not coming today is because Jared has to work tonight which he was supposed to work but he got somebody to cover for him hello so yeah if I say that he isn't coming anymore I don't want dad to like expect me to be coming tonight it's just a lot and then he asked if we were staying tomorrow night which we're not but I had to tell him we are so that my stepmom has a reason to like make a bed for us or make a bed for me to sleep in tonight without him questioning why she's making me a bed if that makes sense but like I feel bad telling my dad that we are staying tomorrow night because I'm not I'm coming back home but it's just, it's just the how the story has to play out you know for everything to line up and him not to be suspicious. It's just a big ordeal, you know? I'm feeling like so large right now and very full from those pancakes. While I'm in town, I need to get some ibuprofen for Jared. And then I think I'm gonna make that banana bread again. I don't really know what to make. My stepmom said maybe bring a dessert, but I just don't know what to make. My dad really wanted some of that banana bread that I made, so I think I might just make that and have it double for him to have some and also for Thanksgiving breakfast or something I don't know and it was super quick and easy so I might just make that and then I have to come home and pack I have to do my hair what else do I have to do yeah I don't know but it's 10 01 and my appointment's at 10 20 I'm about 10 minutes away so I should be getting the results of like the sauna that I just had on Wednesday or last Friday of that probably my doctor just like going over like if I am actually measuring big or what the insides of that are but I will for sure like keep you guys updated so so I'm home from my appointment. I'm home from going to Walmart and I picked up the mail and I had some goodies in there. I got this like puffer vest from Amazon. It's like this wine color and it's so comfortable. I got it because like you guys have seen, I wear my black vest every single time I leave my house because it's just like so comfortable and it's really the only like layering thing that I have that fits me because like my coat it does not fit me right now and buying another vest was cheaper than buying a coat so I love vests it was a really good Black Friday deal so I couldn't pass it up and then I bought these maternity leggings which are so comfortable these were $13 and I love them they feel so buttery soft and they cover and like help support the bump a little bit which is so nice because the leggings that I got from Walmart like lay right in the middle of my bump and like it's just not comfortable but i like how these go all the way over my bump and just it's a lot more comfy so yeah very excited about this and then we also got our christmas cards in and then also jared's mom's in a package from his grandma where she like sent me a whole bunch of bronco stuff so that was exciting as well I got all of baby girl's gifts moved in here, so we're getting closer to the baby shower hall. What do you have? Don't put that in there. What do you have, silly girl? And then yesterday we got in our dresser, which is very exciting. That's what it's gonna look like. So I can't wait to get that set up as well. We're making a little bit of progress, a little bit at a time. Hi, <laughs> nosy. Why are you being so nosy?
to curl my hair. My hair is a hot mess because it's been up in a ponytail for like three days, but it's not ready for it to be washed. So curling it is just gonna be the easiest option. Like look at that. <laughs> but my back is hurting. So I'm gonna sit while I do this. I need to change my shirt because I have banana bread all over it. I thought I would just have a little chit chat over my doctor's appointment. It wasn't like bad or anything, but I do have to have another sauna, which I'm not mad about. Anytime I get to see baby girl, I'm actually like super excited. So I'll have another sauna a month from now because they, which I'm kind of confused at this. I'm not like the best at, at retaining information and then relaying it. Is that the word? Like I just, it goes in one ear and then half of it goes, like, disappears, and then the other half comes out, if that makes sense. <sighs> um, from the sauna that I just had, they said I'm measuring fine. Baby's, like, good. My fluid's good. My hemo hemoglobin, don't even know what that is, but he said it's excellent. He said basically everything looks perfect, except the... I'm so out of breath. The guy that reads my sonos, like not my doctor, somebody else, I don't know, I've never seen him before, said that there's a possible cyst on her bladder. So my doctor wants me to get it checked out again in a month and he like even seemed confused about that because I, I guess he didn't like put a whole lot of notes down when he put it. I don't know. I'm just so confused about the whole thing and so was my doctor. And he's like, it's really nothing. He's like, I wouldn't be concerned about it. He's like, I've seen it before. It, that's what it could be. It could be a valve it could be literally an air with the sauna and they just put it down just to like double check and be safe so i have to have a repeat sauna in the middle of december and he said even if it is he said it could go away too so he just didn't seem very concerned about it and so like i'm not very concerned about it and then i was measuring 30 and a half weeks and i'm 30 and a half weeks tomorrow so I'm measuring like good now which is which I know can happen but it's just like so crazy how a few weeks ago I was measuring so far ahead and now I'm like <laughs> measuring good. I had to get a Tdab shot which didn't hurt at all. The flu shot I had to get a few weeks ago hurt way worse than this and that's pretty much it. It was pretty short and sweet. Oh and when they when my doctor checked baby's heartbeat it was really cool because she is like moving around all and they're like that's all she does is move around and I'm last night like I started to finally see like my stomach moving when she moves because I think I'm not seeing that as much because of my placenta placement just because it's like right here so it takes longer for you to feel kicks and I think it is more in the way so you can't really see a lot of her movements compared to like if it's behind the baby but when he was taking her heartbeat the doppler actually picked up my heartbeat and her heartbeat it was really cool he said he does he doesn't get that a lot but my heartbeat was like do 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 and then hers was like do 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 so it was like picking them both up which was really really cool i thought <sighs> Yeah, and that's pretty much the updates from my doctor's appointment. Right now I'm at every two weeks, so I'll go back again the beginning of January, or January, the beginning of December. So yeah, I'm gonna curl my hair so I can not have to talk and be out of breath. And then I need to pack my makeup in my bags and stuff. With a fiber free man. He, if Maui this year, the next best place, of course, for a terrace center, in Honolulu, with basketball outdoors. This call specifically, but obviously, even. He said we have to establish our paint presence, right? Okay, I change into this cream waffle print top. I put my new vest top back on. It's so cute. I finished curling my hair. Looks kind of weird. I ran out of hairspray, so it is what it is. And then I still have the black maternity leggings on. I'm not going to put these on until I get there, but I'm going to wear my 
boots because I love these things. They're so cute. Um, but they're just not very comfortable to drive in because they're so, you know, thick and stuff. So for right now, I'm just going to be driving in my little slippers. I just paid my tags online because... <laughs> I forgot to do that a while ago and when I was going to Walmart earlier a cop was following me and I was like oh shoot I should probably pay my tags because I don't want to get caught with expired tags. Why does my hair look weird right here? I'm obsessed with this vest. I have a brown one coming also it was supposed to be here yesterday or today and it's not coming till Monday so I quickly ordered this one because I knew I needed something to wear and this one came next day so I just ordered this one and it's really cute actually and I'm taking my beanie to wear this is cute tonight if it gets cold or something but i thought i would show you our christmas cards real fast look how cute they are i love them so so cute i love the blue the past two years we've done green cards so i knew i didn't want to do green again so i switched to blue and i love them look at the puppies they're so proud so cute and then that's just the plain back and then this is what our envelopes look like obviously you put the the people's address right here and then on the back we have them pre like address so it has like our return label so very cute and shutterfly makes it so freaking simple everything was 50% off and I got free shipping so it originally was like 90 bucks or something and I got it for like 40 something so can't beat it I'm actually starving now and I don't really have anything to eat so I think I might stop and just pick up something through a drive through somewhere on the way. I need to figure out how to transfer the banana bread to take. If I'm just going to take it in the pan or what I'm going to do. I don't know. I need to figure that out. And I'm getting ready to leave. It's 2.43. We're about to hit the road. I packed very, very lightly. This is legit all I'm bringing. My makeup and face wash and all that stuff. And <laughs> bag of clothes. That's all. But I honestly don't think I'm going to break my camera at all just because i don't really plan on vlogging i'll like pick the vlog back up when i get home tomorrow or i'll vlog on friday i don't know but maybe i'll take some clips on my phone so i will see you guys when i see you surprise, surprise! surprise! hello you guys it is the next day it is actually thanksgiving it's my watch is dead i think it's like 6 p.m. or something. I'm already back home and I have to show you what I walked into because Jared surprised me and put up like all the Christmas decorations. <laughs> I was gonna ask him if we could do that when I got home but it was already done when I got here so let me show ya. It's not like fully decorated yet but like everything's out. We just have to like do the tree and move stuff around but that man. Hi sister. Look at what I came home to. Everything is out. All the balls and stuff are out. The tree is up, but it needs to be decorated. It was a big old surprise. I think we might put the tree there this year. I don't know. We'll work on it. <laughs> it's not doing anything. Take two. What the heck? Wait, I think it's doing something. It did. It melted. You're not getting any. No, you guys are not getting any.
Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. It's 8.41 a.m. And I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. I slept in, which was really nice. And then I had another Thanksgiving at my aunt and uncle's house. And then I came back home and literally did nothing the rest of the day. And it was so nice and very much needed. And today I don't have much plans either. I definitely need to go get the mail because I'm out of my greens and reds. And I really, really want it this morning. Oh, it started to snow. It's snowing outside, you guys. <gasps> it's snowing. <laughs> Today is very much gonna be a snow day. It's supposed to snow like seven inches, I think, which I'm so excited. I doubt that ends up happening. It says four to seven or four to eight, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But I hope it does. I love snow. And so does the doggies. They love the snow, huh? You guys love the snow. Today I have plans inside other than going to get the mail. Our football team here is playing for state today. And I was kind of wanting to go to that, but I don't even have a coat that fits me anymore, so I'm not going to that. And I can just watch it from the comfort of my own TV on the couch. From the comfort of my own TV? I can watch it from the comfort of my own couch on TV. So that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm, there's some good college football games on today I'm going to watch. But I also want to fill out our Christmas cards and get those like addressed and everything and also do work on some thank you cards for our showers because <laughs> those need to get done as soon as possible so that's probably what i'll do i also need to edit this video it's going up in like two days and i have not even uploaded anything into my computer so yeah that's the plan for today not much going on at all i was gonna like decorate the tree because the other night jared and i just put the lights on it and didn't decorate it but i feel like i don't want to do that by myself i want to wait till jared's here for him to do that with me mm -mm -mm. wait it already looks like there's a lot of snow over there i made a hot coffee obviously because it's like freezing and snowing and it's the peppermint mocha and it's actually pretty good. Yesterday I went to Starbucks before I went to my grandma's to watch the Nebraska game. I was pulling in and I was gonna go through the drive-thru and there was a literally like 15 cars in the drive-thru line so I was like eh I'll just go inside. It'll probably be quicker. It was like very busy inside like there was a lot of people but there was no line to order so I went right up to the counter and ordered and I was like oh this is gonna be perfect. I ordered my drink at 11.06. I did not get my drink until 11.46. I sat there for 40 minutes and waited on my freaking Starbucks coffee. I got my pumpkin loaf literally like a minute and a half after ordering it and I tried to hold off on eating it until I had my coffee with me but I couldn't. After 20 minutes waiting I was like okay I need to eat my pumpkin bread but 40 minutes to sit in there and wait on a coffee. I was trying to be patient. I kept wanting to like get like upset and angry and like antsy, but I'm like just sitting here thinking, I'm like, what is God trying to teach me in this moment? Like, what is he trying to tell me to do or like helping me learn to do? And I was like, he is definitely trying to teach me patient, patience right now. So I'm just like, okay, you just relax. Just wait here for your coffee. Like you are blessed to be able to sit here and wait 40 minutes for your coffee because there are people that you know probably can't do that so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna be patient and trust in God's timing for my coffee because whenever things like that happen you like you never know like maybe God's like saving you from something you know what I mean like maybe if I would have got my coffee in like 10 or 15 minutes something could have happened on the way from Starbucks to my grandma's like maybe there would have been like a car accident or something like maybe that was like God looking out for me when I didn't realize it you know what I mean I always like try and like put myself in those situations like and ask like what God is trying to teach me in that moment so Although what was like frustrating waiting for 40 minutes because the Nebraska game started at 11. I was just gonna pop in there real fast and get it and go. And then having to sit there and miss 40 minutes of the game, I was getting frustrated, but I was like, you know what? It's a freaking game. You're gonna be okay. Just really lean into your patience right now because that is what God is telling you to do. So I don't know how I got on that little roll, but if you're ever in a little predicament like that, just sit there and ask what you can learn and take away from that moment because I'm sure there's more than plenty of stuff you can but anyway i ordered a hot starbucks which i never do i never get hot drinks when i like go out to get coffee but it was freezing yesterday so i needed it but i got their gingerbread no oat milk gingerbread chai latte or something like that 
it was really good i will definitely get it again and i always feel like iced coffees are way better than hot coffees so i can't wait to try iced sometime but yeah it was very yummy i'm not gonna say it was worth the 40 minute wait but i will definitely order it again you know what i mean i made my little breakfast bagel obsession that i've been loving lately it's so freaking good and packed full of protein it's so delicious i'm eating that for breakfast and i'm gonna try and eat <laughs> healthier today because the last two days have not been like that obviously but yeah i'm gonna wa finish watching college game day and then watch some football and work on these so i will catch up with you guys in a little bit Ooh, what is that honey what is that it's snow it's snow i don't know if it's picking up but it looks so good like look at the top of her house snow love it Hers love the snow. <laughs> snow dogs. Go, go by. Okay, so I just got back from getting dog food and getting the mail and I got two packages so I thought I would give you a little haul. First package is from Amazon and Black Friday deals have freaking got a chokehold on me this year. Usually I don't buy anything like Black Friday, Prime Day or anything like that but Amazon Black Friday deals have got me by the neck which most of the stuff like I've needed and stuff and they've been on sale so I'm like okay I can't pass it up but this my brother actually has one of these well not this exact one but one bigger than this it's the rock form super grip vent mount it's a magnetic mount thing you like put in the air vent of your car and then your phone just like you know attaches to it for the from the magnet and i just thought that would be so nice because most of the time when i am driving i put my phone in the cup holder it either like falls out onto the other side of the floor or like if jared's with me like he'll he always has a drink i always have a drink i always have like two drinks most of the time so it's just gonna free up a space of the car holder and I'm excited about this but I just honestly don't know if I should have got this one because when I ordered it I couldn't remember like what my vents look like but my brother's vents are like straight up and down you know but mine are kind of up here on the dashboard and they're at a slant so I don't know it's just gonna be like at a at a weird angle I don't even know if this is gonna hold it it's not big enough I think I needed to get the big one. Dang it. So actually I might be sending this back and instead of getting the vent one, I might get the one that like suction cups or whatever to the top of your dashboard and then it like sits up because it would be handy if I could also use it to like vlog while I'm driving instead of like sitting my camera up there and it like sliding everywhere. Like it would just be nice to put it up there and I can just like vlog safely and not have to worry about something flying off at me. So I might actually send this back and get a bigger one but that sucks i don't think they're on the black friday sale anymore because yeah this isn't gonna this isn't gonna hold it my brother's is really big like it's like this big so i should have i don't know i probably should have got that one i don't know tbd on that my battery's about to die but this is actually a baby something i got from etsy one of my friends for my baby shower got me an etsy gift card and i this is what i ordered all her personalized stuff off of I don't think this one's personalized, but it's super cute. It's just a little pinkish purple waffle blanket. It's so cute. I got this from the Sugar House Baby Shop. Adorable, I love it. Hers is gonna look so cute in this. Okay, my battery's dying. Okay, I actually decided that I'm gonna keep it just because I don't want anything mounted onto the dashboard. I feel like it'll get in the way of like my view and stuff, but I did see that it comes with this extra magnet that you just put on your phone case, or you can put it on the inside of your phone, or like your actual phone, and then this just, this made it stick very hard. Like this thing ain't coming off unless I want it to come off, but I actually liked it, so I decided I'm keeping it. I haven't updated you guys in a while, but look at 
the update of the snow. It's still just coming down so hard, but it's so freaking beautiful. Like I love snow so much. The dogs love it too. They go crazy out here. Honey just wants to come back outside. Look at how it's piled up on the fence over there. I hope this happens on Christmas. Guys, look at them. They love it. They freaking just love the snow. They're snow doggies. What a beautiful morning to wake up to all this pretty snow. I love when they get the snow on their faces. It's so cute. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? That doesn't go like that. <laughs> Let go. Let go. Do you have a vest on? You... I'm invested. <laughs> she always has to have it in her mouth. You're a dork. He's a dork. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Brother's like, ooh, balls. He's like, how do I retrieve it though? <laughs> right in her face. I threw a fairly big one, the one that she caught. You just hear it and just go pop and it just popped right in her mouth. They would literally live out here. Yeah, We just got home from church, but now we're gonna move the tree over here because it just looks so crowded over here and then just get it decorated real fast and be done with decorating for Christmas. I'm out of breath, per usual. Jingle bells. So we got the tree all decorated. It's not the best looking tree this year, but you know, we just didn't put in a lot of effort because obviously uh, I couldn't really help much. I, I did put some up there, but I also sat and watched quite a little bit just because she is feeling so low today and just a lot of pressure. <laughs> I uh, just went to go like take out the uh, just the bag of recycling and I fell down the stairs. <laughs> oh my god it was I watched it on our ring like eight times and I was crying laughing so hard like I'm fine baby's fine I didn't fall on her I literally fell on my left butt cheek but <laughs> it was so funny I like, you know, did the whole oh a few times and then I fell on my butt cheek. So Jared's out there shoveling now, which he was going to do earlier. He's like, why were you taking anything out anyway? He was mad that I was doing that, but it's not like I went out there with the intent to fall. And then I also kind of slipped when I was walking back up the stairs. But again, I didn't like fall. I just like fell with my hands. But I watched that on the ring and I was crying. I was laughing so hard. I did the splits, so that kind of hurt. <laughs> but we're good. Everything's fine. And I'm glad to have the tree up and decorated. Like I love Christmas and I obviously want my house to be like decorated for Christmas this year. I'm just not motivated to do any of that decorating. So I'm really, really grateful that Jared like took it upon himself and did literally like 90% of it himself, which is so sweet. But with the house decorated for Christmas, that means we can get back to nursery stuff, which is very exciting. And now that we have the dresser, that's probably going to be the next thing that we do is put the dresser together so that we can start washing stuff and getting things put away and labeled and oh my god that's so crazy are you watching dad's shovel are you watching dad's shovel the sidewalk huh is him doing a good job is he doing a good job <laughs> you wish you were out there with him huh get it <laughs> She's 
terrified. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be ending the video soon, but I was just scrolling on Instagram and saw somebody make these and I've been planning on making like my snicker dates for a while now, but I think I wanna make these instead. It's kind of the same thing basically, except it's dates, peanut butter, pretzels, which I think is gonna be so good, and then melted dark chocolate with like a sprinkle of sea salt on them. And I think that's gonna be very yummy. So I think I'm gonna make these real fast. I also want to try and make date hot chocolate tonight because I've been in like my hot chocolate era and I know like store-bought hot chocolate is just not great for you. What's her name? Caitlin. I don't know her last name. I When she was pregnant, she used to make date hot chocolate like every single day and it just sounds so good. So I wanna learn how to make that. But first we're gonna do this. So I'm just getting this pan and I don't know if I should use wax paper or parchment paper. I don't know, but I'm just gonna put a strip of this down so when I freeze them, it freezes, it doesn't freeze to the pan. It is the next day and I am sitting here editing this video and I'm about to get it up for you guys. And I realized I never closed out the vlog last night after I made these date, whatever they are. They're actually so good. I had one today and it was delicious and I'm gonna have one again later tonight. I'm gonna need to buy more dates because I am already almost out of them between making these and then my date hot chocolate, which I also made last night which was also delicious, but I didn't vlog it or show it. Um, I'll probably do that in the next vlog. Yeah, I'm gonna need the stock up on my dates, which is good just because dates are so good leading up to labor and stuff. But I also noticed that I never even showed you like our finished Christmas decor. But honestly, just go back and watch uh, my video from last year of us decorating for Christmas because it looks literally exactly like that because I kind of went off of that for the most part. But yeah, I'm just too lazy to get up and show you guys right now. So if you're wanting to see what it looks like, go back and watch last year's video. Only the tree looks a little different because we didn't put ribbon on it this year. But yeah, them wearing the same exact outfit because um, work from home life, it's great. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and close out the video because I never did that yesterday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this random vlog of just spending a few days with me. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. I respond to all my comments, so let's chat. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile. Thank you.